1992, Neil Stephenson came up with the concept of the metaverse in his best-selling book, Snow Crash. He described the metaverse as a future world of virtual reality. This virtual three-dimensional world would allow people to connect, work, and socialize as virtual avatars. There are two different types of metaverses. The first would be a virtual metaverse, where people are each created as avatars. The second would be the augmented metaverse, which has a digital landscape that allows users to build their own virtual environments. The metaverse will change the way we live and learn. To quote Mark Zuckerberg, the metaverse will be the successor to the mobile internet. Just imagine how that changes the way we look at the internet today. When we look at the internet and social media now, it is as if we are looking in from the outside. According to the creators of the metaverse, we will be interacting with the internet and social media from the inside out. Futures envision the metaverse will contain AI-created people that talk, walk, and act like real humans. Just imagine how this will change our traditional relationships and the way we are used to interacting as humans now. There will be a dysmorphia of building these relationships outside of the virtual reality that is within the metaverse. User encounters in the metaverse could be with AIs versus real live humans. Another thing to think about is that today we see ads pop up from our research on the internet. In the metaverse, ads will apparently pop up as an experience. So that drink you see people buying all the time in the metaverse to entice you to consume it may not be real. It could be a simulation created by advertisers to convince you to buy it. For this reason, Facebook and many other leading companies in tech are investing in the development of the metaverse. Facebook, as one company, is exploring ways to use elements of its social media platform in the metaverse. Imagine virtual spaces where we can create and explore with family, friends, and other people who aren't in the same physical space as us. Will that make the time we spent online more meaningful? Another company, Roblox, is a gaming company that focuses on peers chatting while playing. They are committed to creating metaverses that make human interactions feel like real conversations in the metaverse. Craig Donato, Chief Business Officer at Roblox, states that what experiences people have in the metaverse need to be both immersive and social. Donato believes that the social aspect of being together virtually is very important for the virtual experience. Roblox, in collaboration with Nike, now allows gamers to connect and share experiences in Nike Land, a virtual space. We may soon be trying on new shoes while running marathons and playing games. COVID-19 gave us cause for pause to consider about how human interaction might work in the future. The metaverse has the potential to enhance human experience in work lifestyles, business connectedness, and education environments. What would these changes in human interaction mean for our privacy and security? Social media already tracks us online. Would you want people potentially having further access to your conversations or even hacking your video game? Privacy risks need to be understood, discussed, and carefully monitored. And whatever we come up with will have to compete with what we had before. The metaverse is no longer a concept. It's here and it offers us exciting new opportunities. But, as with everything new, there are problems we have to solve.